Hey guys, it's my Vivi here. Welcome to Life is Strange 2, Part 4. This has just dropped on Steam, and after what happened in the last episode, I am thoroughly looking forward to this one. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to give us a recap, so we're just going to jump in and take a look at it. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. Ah! And they had to go on the run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them, and everybody loved the little wolf, who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. The big brother hooked up with a cool she-dog they had their own adventures. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf and destroyed everything. He did. The big brother was badly wounded and worse. He didn't know where the little cub was. Yeah, at the end of the last episode, Daniel got shot. He went absolutely crazy and blew up the house everyone was in. He's now fleed. Looks like Sean has lost an eye. Not sure about the outcome of the others. Like we're still in the forest. How's that other eye? Oh. Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. I wish I listened when you tried to stop me from going with Finn. I was too pissed. It's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? I'm alone, Sean. 
I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes, I, I swear. <sighs> Stop! Oh, okay. Okay, it's just a dream. Humans after the blast. Fuck. Daniel. I keep... Oh, I can't even focus on the page. This sucks ass, man. I tried to draw to kill time. This room is like a cage, but I sat now. No depth perception, no art, no. Focusing immediate migraine. Going crazy in here, woke up crying. Okay, so it looks like the secret services are trying to find Daniel. We've missed his birthday. And spirits still going about. Now is Cass dead? Was Cass just injured? Has she gone a separate way? even draw right now. It's so hard to focus. <clears throat> Gotta practice way more. Not giving up. I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Staircase out of here. Wish I could find a highway to freedom. Yay. Stupid reality shows. This must be my punishment. I miss Cass so much. Wish I could hold her. Wait, hold on. You're surprised to hear from me. I found out with her in the same hospital. She's alive! chance to write to you. I hope you get this. Wish I could say everything I want to, but you never know who's reading it right. Truly hope you were okay after what happened. As for me, I don't remember much about, except the explosion at Meryl's office. Then I woke up in the hospital with blunt trauma. And what the doctors call blast lung injury. Just glad I can still play guitar and sing, not that I feel like it. 
you learn a load about medicine stuck in a hospital bed, and I'm sure you know my sweet compadre. They're working on that Spanish. Probably know more about what's going on than me. But Hannah, Penny, and I were released without charges. The police were stoked to bust a farm drug trafficker rather than us gutter punks. Toiling in the field, we asked you and Daniel. We were. We asked about you and Daniel, but got no answers. Right. So with Finn and you gone, our real family is kind of broken up. Now we're just a lonely trio. Train hopping up and down the state, but it feels like we're going in a loop to nowhere. Hannah and Penny aren't the same, and we fight too much. I'm not even sure we'll be together for much longer. That changes, right? Maybe I'll have a whole new set of blue songs for the road. I know you're going to trial soon over the Seattle situation. Get justice and freedom you deserve. You and Daniel are amazing brothers. I hope you find your way home soon. I hope we can swim naked under the new moonlight. It's a big world and maybe we'll meet again someday. Always be singing your song. Love and peace, Cassidy. That's good to know. She's alive. Maybe a chance for him yet. Yeah. Thanks for the card, Agent. Can't wait to text you. Um, oh. Oh, Can't okay. catch shit. Zero depth perception. Goodbye, sports. Can I get out of it? Joey must hate the sound of this thing. Well, I seem to be stuck in bed. Can't do anything. This day feels like... Glad Steven's leg is better. Don't know if we'll ever come back, Chris. <laughs> Miss that little superhero. Captain Spirit. Realized I was facing a completely wrong way. Okay. There'll be something we can do. Oh, hello. Afternoon checkup. Sure. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm, I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that smile. Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? No. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before... Mm, you know. Before they... Check you out. Check me out to Juvie. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Yes, nice retina response. Okay, now, try to follow the light as well as you can. Come on, Sean. You've been there before. Good, good. Keep going. Quick response. Nice. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you got to turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. 
I'll try. No rush. This is tough. Your depth perception will always be affected. So you gotta try harder. <sighs> Shit. Hey, good job. Okay. Let's do it again. Damn, <laughs> you hit a double today. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. You're the real MVP today. MVP? I mean it, Sean. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. Patient cleared. I am a pirate. I'm a pirate without a patch. Arr. I'd be more worried if you weren't such a smart ass. Well, I know it sucks for you, but... <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now, you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dress Hey. Sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. He <sighs> ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch him. Yes, true. Your job. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just... Come back when I'm finished with him. Sure. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. Stay cool, bro. So... How are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison, or you can talk to me. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Yeah, he came outside, then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being, who knows. I hear you, but you're sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no. Look at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. Pretty much did. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus three seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. Nobody's a statement matches with each other. Sean, throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay. Fuck. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His? Or yours? Huh? Well, I tried to stop him about 30 times, so I'm not gonna lie. Finn. It was his idea to rip off Mero. Did he force you to help? Or did you go along with it? I wanted to stop him. Ah, oh, 
Let's tell the truth. Let's tell the truth. He lied. I didn't want to help, but he got Daniel involved. I swear. Swear. I didn't think anything like this was going to happen. Nobody does, Sean. Until it's too late. Yeah. Now I know. And what about Cassidy? She planned all this with Finn? She was against it from the start. She was against this stupid plan. She had nothing to do with it. Your friends are learning the hard way. They didn't deserve it. We all make mistakes. Yeah. Well, some mistakes are worse than others. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Sorry, Finn. Oh, she didn't want anything to do with this. I wonder what Meryl told the cops about the robbery. Sorry, Hannah. Oh, she lost her family for this. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. Can anyone speak Spanish? Sorry about that. Okay. I'm like she was talking to a child. So what's going on with Daniel? You really okay. have leads? Something. Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. For how long? It's been over two months. How are you going to find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me. We want to find him too. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up too, right? Whatever. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? <laughs> Great. Detective Flores said I'm free to go. Woohoo. Oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person.
But I'm not. I've done too many mistakes. I let everybody down. I lost Daniel. And I'm going to juvie. This is all bullshit. Now let's check this out. The healing is coming along nice. Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I wanna hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? I get a tap I it up in my you. eye. I'm trying to be positive. But it's so hard. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Coat the area using the swab and cream. What I feel like I gotta remember this at some point. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch... Oh, shit. Ah, emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. Opens it up. <sighs> Catch you later. <laughs> Joey. You are her boss. Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. We'll take Joey's pen. Oh, that was a souvenir. Nice. First out of six. What? Wow. Haven't seen you in a long time. What a journal. Legend. I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Nowhere to go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. Got to have gone to his mum, right? Wait. What's that? Had a few beers, Danny was asleep, same night, every night. He wants to train more, but we don't have time. Plus, we gotta hide, it's not easy. Borrowed a blanket and a few things from your tent. Give them back to you when you. Okay. 
X the guy that helped us out in the second episode? First episode? First episode, I think. Get out of this. I'm stuck in. Haven Point. Oh, it's Nevada. To look through it. Okay. I gotta get to him. Gotta find a way to escape tonight. Oh yeah, prison break. Well, <sighs> okay, time to clear off now. This whole hospital is so quiet. So don't make any noise. And find a way to get the hell out of here. Making the break. End of the bed. Nada. To be honest, I do that when I stay in hotel rooms. <laughs> Gotta make sure you ain't dropping pennies. Let's see. I just gotta get past that locked door and an angry guard. You're here. Arm reacts. That's it. <sighs> Wish I could just walk out. My backpack has gotta be somewhere around here. <sighs> They've been working on these rooms forever. So fucking loud. Sweet dreams, my friend. Maybe I can trick him. Hey, sir. Hello. Jesus, can't even take a nap. Okay. What's wrong now? Head hurts. I need aspirin. That's a sad story, but I'm not a pharmacy kid. Well, that didn't work. I could trick him into coming in here and then knock him out you want to knock out a guard I'm <sighs> I could trick him into coming in here and then knock him out oh we need to make a distraction <sighs> maybe I could uh, rig a decoy Sean in the bed Hide in the bathroom, sneak out when he comes in. Oh, okay. Okay. Make a fake body. <sighs> that looks so fake, <laughs> but it might work for a second. Can I have some privacy, please? If I hide in here... Ah. Well, that's grim. This one isn't screwed in. Let's do it. <clears throat> hey, 
Hey, what the hell are you doing in there? Pretty clunk you around the bloody head, mate. I just popped that in my pocket. Hey, hello? I need help. Please. What? What's the matter, kid? Huh? My head. It's killing me. I need help. Hold on. You're gonna need help if you're fucking with me. He's gonna feel that one in the morning. That's Finn. No way. What is he doing here? I kind of want to see what he has to say, but then again, he did get me into this situation. Have a look. Finn! Finn! Hey! Over here! Holy fucking shit! No way. Sean, what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to bail. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I wish I knew you were here. Could have hooked up. Shit. So, where's Daniel? Just learned that he's in Nevada. What the fuck? Why Nevada? I'm on my way to find out, man. Yes, you will, my friend. Damn, I wish I could help you. But I won't get too far. But hey, I brought this on myself. So... Are the police on your ass or what? Shit, yes. <laughs> Pigs want me to narc on everybody. Like they fucking believe me. So... Well, I did on you, buddy. How bad is it? You're... I... Let's say... I still got one left. John... I know this doesn't mean shit to you now, but I am sorry. <sighs> About everything. I'd have two eyes if it wasn't for you. Daniel would still be here. You know what? I don't blame you. I don't blame you, Finn. You tried something. Even if it ended up being a mistake. Everyone makes mistakes. I'll just... have to make things right for good now. You're the man, Sean. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss you. Much love and respect. Always. I gotta go now. Take care, Finn. You're gonna find him, Sean. I trust you. So you should trust yourself, too. Kind of got a feeling he's like lost a leg or something, but didn't go into it.
What a numpty. Left his car unlocked. See your secret hope hospital. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, he's also driving for the first time in one eye. It'll be hard. I hate when you're driving and you need to sneeze because for that split second you close both eyes. Hate it. Episode 4. Doesn't the desert get bitterly cold in there?
guess this is my room for the night. Shit. I will never hold until Haven Point. <sighs> what a mess. <sighs> Flotis can now add Grand Theft Auto to my file. Uh, he's still got the card. Obviously, we gotta clean the eye before we go to sleep. Oh, come on! Did you interview everyone in that hospital? Oh, okay. For what? I thought I brought it with me, but no, I didn't. Another souvenir here. This one seems to be by. The sewers? Still looks like it's in the desert, though. She seems nice. Sorry. Shit. Guess I fucked up her day pretty bad. Look off the kids, hospital checkup, lunch with hubby, blood test, pick up the kids, night shift. Um, you may be catching the bus today. Guess I'm kind of lucky I stole a smoker's car. Up. Okay. Haven Point is straight ahead. Just a few more hours drive. Where am I? Am I that black dot in the middle? Okay. Time to clean the eye. I remember what order it was. All right. You gonna do it for me? Careful. Okay, you're doing it for me. Ah, man. I should have listened to Joey. This is a mess. Oh, what? Still with me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Just... zoning out. Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. So, uh, what's the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got Ford Hot Wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. <laughs> I'm proud, Sean. You don't even bullshit me when you need cash. And I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? I hope you're not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> oh, please. You're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? Excuse me. <laughs> Where's my regular, emotionless son? Apparently sleeping in the I car and dreaming. About Think we can hang father. out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. 
miss it. So do I. Been too long since we went padre y hijo against the road. <laughs> Way too long. I love road trips. Good to hear. <laughs> By the way, boy talk. What's going on with that gin, huh? <laughs> uh, well, not much to talk about. That was like pulling teeth. Well, I've got a week to find out the truth. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Not much to say. Okay, okay. Keep your secrets to yourself. I won't pry. Ah. Could that be Daniel? Hola. Hello. Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. He's driving real slow and safe, like a grandma. Thanks for checking in. We'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean, Jen wants you to call her <laughs> when you have time. Oh, ho, ho. sounds like someone is still thinking about you. Yeah, I know. Seriously, though, how are you really doing? Time to realize this is not real. It's too bit, but I miss you. I miss you too, my son. But this is all part of growing up. I know. I don't like it. I have total faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam and find your way home. God. I love you, Dad. I wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. Oh, by the way. Oh. Hey, wake up. Huh? Huh? What? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on our property? Huh? Oh, man, I crashed hard. Oh, yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the fuck is that? A fucking kid. Get out. Look, I'm leaving, okay? Uh, no you ain't. Step out, or I'll call the cops. You don't want that boy. Okay, okay. I'm coming. Hold on. Good. Now we can see you. So tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land. So there's a... I... drove for so long, I... I had to pull over to get some rest, you know? I swear, I had no idea this was your property. There's a fucking sign? Didn't you see it? I... was too exhausted. I guess I missed it. He's just a kid, and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? Move it. Oh. Huh. Car Please. Me. I just want to go. Ho-ho. <laughs> What's this? Drugs? Yeah, for my eye. Oh, yeah. Did you steal them? Like this car? Listen, it's not what you think. Oh, I think it is. You ain't the first beaner we caught. Take his backpack. Dude, come on. Get it! Let's see what he's holding.
So? Nothing good. Any money? Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother. Oh, Leave it alone. Starting to push me. Whoa! You did not. That's it, boy. Get up. Up! Block him in the face, Sean. Okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Let him go. He's got nothing. Hey. Hold on a sec, Mike. You speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? What? 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 Hablas Espanol. Chad. So, Professor, how do you say, I'm a dirty thief? Give it suck oh, it you up. don't want to share your language? <laughs> Take you too long again. <laughs> okay. Maybe you know this one. Uh, I'm a dirty thief with one eye. <laughs> Soy un ladrón y chinga tu madre. Uh, wait, madre? Uh, what did you really say, asshole? Huh? All I want to do is learn Espanol. <laughs> Might be our official language someday, right? See, si, senor? So, one more lesson. How do you say, this is not my country? Racist. Fuck off. This is my country. Hoo-hoo-wee! <laughs> Did you hear that? Looks like we got ourselves a Trump supporter. Look, Chad, it's gonna rain. Let's go before we get soaked. No, we took the country back. Hold on. This little thief is fucking with me. You're really pissing me off, you know that? But I'm willing to give you one last chance to make things right. Sing something. What? Just pass the audition and you're free. We'll be very upset if you refuse. Singing beer. No. Really? Okay. I warned you, boy. Stop! Stop it, Chad! <sighs> what the fuck, man? Holy cow, what are you doing? Listen, you little beaner. Get your shit and go. Now. Look, just drive straight and you'll hit the highway. Forget this happened, man, okay? I'm just gonna take the beat. Singing like So the, the Wolf Brothers were split apart. The oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks.
does that say poker, blackjack, and spaghetti? What? Okay. Still a few hours away from Haven Point. Almost there. some rocks it looks like next shit i need a break we may be near might be next. some shade at the next billboard we've been here to find be around here somewhere hopefully fuck an adventure out whoa ah oh, shit better stick to the road Too far. Stop. I'm tired. Can't run for miles in this heat. Uh. Yeah. We're walking, we're walking, less in shade. <sighs> yes. Shade. Oh, man. My feet are killing me. Feels like hiking in hell. Oh, shit. My throat feels like sand. The desert just goes on forever. Damn, buddy, you sweaty. A lot of so looks like I should be able to climb it. Daniel better be okay. So inviting. Letters. Feels like I haven't seen him in years. Of course I miss everything about him. Even his whining. Oh. Yeah, you can't wait to get out on your own. Guilty? Now you are. And it sucks. Okay, he's gone into the cave. Got any shade down there, buddy? No, but you've got a skull. Gee, Daniel might dig this. Ah, we found the third achievement. Right, so... Next one seems to be some sort of cross and money. And then obviously the one after is in Vegas on a slot machine. And the last one's in a hotel maybe. Keep an eye out. See what we find. Dead animal. No way I'm gonna die out here. Doesn't exactly <sighs> Just keep on walking. Point. Shit. This place is freaking me out. Sorry, bugs. Gotta go. Come on, there's gotta be someone who's gonna fix up, right? <sighs> oh, shit, there's a truck coming. He's going a bit fast and we're not moving. Whoa. Is he honking at me? He's stopping. Uh, okay, uh, 
Be cool. Just see what he wants. Um, to offer you tree? Maybe he's stopping to give you a lift. Truckers can't be cops, right? Hey, need a lift? It's too damn hot to be walking. You're telling me, buddy. Let's take a chance in the trucker. Walking in the desert's just gonna end up with us dying of thirst. Yeah, thanks. Hold up. Are usually nice, right? Jeez. What the hell happened to you? I ran into a couple of assholes who beat me up for no reason. Uh, I see. Happens a lot around here. Hey, Anton. You there? Everything all right? Yeah, what's up? GPS tells me you parked in the middle of nowhere. Just wanted to know what happened. I, uh... I had to make a shit stop. Over. <laughs> Too much information, but... 10-4. <laughs> you mean number two. <laughs> you owe me a beer for that. Over and out. Why didn't he say Don't before? freak out. I... I wouldn't have picked you up. If I cared about that hitchhiking law. Okay. Cool. So, you hungry or what? You look hungry. Getting a little bit suspicious. He's being too funny. <sighs> I am. Thank you. As you heard, my name's Anton. It is good, huh? My wife packs the best sandwiches. <laughs> Messy. Best sandwich ever. Seriously. Thanks, sir. Anton. Anton. Right. What's your destination? Hmm. Haven Point. You've heard of it? Oh yeah. Straight ahead, about an hour. Take a nap news, if you want. Uh, news report to come over the radio. You don't have to stay awake to be nice. Hey, don't worry, kid. I'm not a fucking weirdo. Just a boring trucker. A little bit skeptical. Nothing's too good to be true. Wow, this is one long uh, smile.
Last stop, Haven Point. Thank you so much. You just be careful out here. These people are kind of weird. Really? He was legit? Okay. 10-4, good buddy. Who's that? Ex collectibles? In the church, by looks of it. Let's have a little mooch around. Wow. Forgot about Easter. I completely lost track of time. A lot of cars for a place in the middle of nowhere. Can't leave. Gotta find Daniel. We legit are in the middle of nowhere. Let's have a little bit of a look around, see what we can find. Doesn't sound particularly healthy. Hmm. Must be more kids here. Huh. I wonder if Daniel made friends. How would Daniel get it? Did he hit shot like I did? <sighs> so weird to picture Daniel out here. Weird. Looks like our old training range. Maybe he was here. Nevada is like a giant. Maybe I can ask a bit more about this place. Nobody's home. Um. Nothing over here. Feels out of time. Hey Why? there, little guy. <laughs> you all right, sat in that bowl? I wonder how many people come and go through this place. Follow the sound of music. We'll do that in a sec. Smells like bacon and bread in there. Oh shit, I'm starving. Bacon butty. Yes, please. I wonder what kind of community this is. Did Jacob really live here all his life? Wow. Must be a pretty good church to drive all this way. Not much different than my hipster stickers. People tend to showcase what they love. Okay now? Is it gone? I... I think. <laughs> Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. Uh... Hello there. 
Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't worry. You here for the service? Uh, yeah, I, I am. But it's my first time. Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here. No matter who you are or where you're from. In his eyes, we are all equal. Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Okay, um, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? Daniel? Uh, what miracle? <laughs> you haven't heard of him? Then I won't spoil it for you. He'll be here any minute now. Just come inside and see for yourself. Praise the Lord. That poor little girl. <sighs> yeah. Very humble. That poor little girl. Her cough sounds real bad. Oh, feel that cold air. Oh, thank God for AC. The world is in trouble. A picnic with Daniel? What's going on? Is Daniel actually here? Are in trouble. Claire had pretty much the same ones. So <laughs> Cute. Hey, it's for charity. Me. Ah, there's the fourth souvenir. Do you think we're any smarter? Why are they talking about my brother like that? Better clean up first, so I don't scare Daniel. We cleaned your eye today, Sean. Okay, fine. Make me feel guilty. That's for the pin. Nice picture. Wonder if they'll let me in. Wait. No way. That is Daniel, the right? Angel Daniel? Oh, shit. Oh, dear. This community is a firewall. Faith. We hear that word a lot. But faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh no. What is faith? Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man is possible for God. Amen. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Yes. Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Yes. Oh, yes. oh yes, you are not like all these sinners out there. So I never asked the Lord for a sign. Then he gave me one. Yes. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift. Yes, he did. An angel 
a child graced with the power of God. Daniel? The miracle we have all been praying for, waiting for. Can I get a hallelujah? hallelujah. Do you have faith in his power? Do you have faith in me? Then please welcome our newest member and our latest miracle, the angel Daniel. Here is Daniel, oh, praise be the Daniel. prophet who was thrown to the lions by false prophets. What have you done to but his But God hair? saved Daniel so he could do his work. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Daniel was brought to me to deliver us, praise to guide us from the wilderness praise to our destiny. Now Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord. I see more and more new faces, but this is only the beginning. You must spread the word. Oh, yes. Bear witness to this miracle. Thank you so much for coming. And God bless all of you. Amen. As our Reverend said, we do appreciate your kind donations. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh yeah, there's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child and another miracle. Any questions, please talk to me outside. Bless you for coming today. <laughs> so I probably shouldn't tell him that I'm after Daniel because they're not going to want to give him up. Daniel, you want to join me? Hi. Oh, uh, hi. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. <laughs> yep, that was me. I like to be here too. We can see the whole room, and it's where our Reverend Mother teaches us classes. <coughs> Whoa. You okay? Need some water? Uh, and no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's too bad. <coughs> hey, what happened to your eye? Well, that's a long story. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee, 
What's yours? Aw, you must be Jacob's sister. Did you get that letter from Jacob back when he was in California? Yes. <coughs> How did you know he was in California? I was with him. Uh, that's how we met. You are Daniel's brother? Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Uh, yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. What do you need? So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. It will be like a late surprise. Daniel, you're the living proof of their faith. And mine. I know you understand. I guess... I mean... Sean? Oh my... Sean! You came back! I knew it! You've grown up, and I know. Do I look older? What? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. Did that happen at the farm? Because of... me? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. It's over, Daniel. We just gotta walk on. Does it... hurt? No. <laughs> Not as much as your haircut. That's what I Shut thought. Shut up. <laughs> it's different. I kinda like it. Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And... It's okay. We're together now. Yes. Yeah, so, Reverend's not gonna lie are you gonna like stay that. with us now? Huh? I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But... We don't need to. We have a new home now. Look! One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all so overwhelming. By the way, my name is Elizabeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sean, you must be a believer now in our Lord, too. Uh, let's start by making her angry. Well, not really. No. So Daniel was wrong? Hmm. You can be honest here, Sean. But first, I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Huh? Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay, Reverend Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Well, Sean. It's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family, and it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. She's definitely not going to want to let him go. I'm leaving here. With Daniel. Yes. Yes, I know about this reckless journey. I'm his family. Two young boys are not a family. Mark 3, 25. If a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Daniel sounds more like a prisoner than a guest. It saddens me that you see things that way. 
After everything I've done for him. I know why you're scared, Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. I know about that poor man you beat down back in Washington, Sean. This is a terrible sin. And until you make penance for it, I can't accept you here. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel, come on! Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me! What the fuck? What did you do? Nothing. Enough. You spilled blood in the Lord's home. Sean, what happened? Your brother came in here impure and acting like a criminal. But he can be saved, Daniel. I'm sorry, Sean. She's right. I will pray for you. Then, when you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. I Let think me she really lead has. You to the one true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy. Let's get out of here, Daniel. I want to stay. Just go. There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude. What? Impressive. Daniel! <coughs> let me go, <laughs> asshole! Daniel! They're not your family! Stop it. You just need to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean. Sean. Daniel! <sighs> there you go. Satisfied? Yeah, I'm now satisfied. Don't you, you ever come me on back. the floor. Come on, kid. Don't make me do this. You're not gonna win. I'm not gonna sit down either. Daniel! Daniel! You're pissing me off. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders like you. I just want my brother. But he doesn't want you. He was brought here, and this is where he's staying. Next time, I will not hesitate to use this. Now get out of here. Daniel, hey! Daniel. Sean? Karen? You won't get him back like this. Let's go. Says mother. What just happened? Sean, what happened to your eye? Why the hell are you here? How did you find me? Well, um, I got a letter from uh, Jacob. He said you were missing and that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Hmm. <laughs> so you finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're gonna have to talk. Where are we even going? I already have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing. Look, 
looks like we found a mother. Oh, she found us. been in the wars. Man, didn't clean the pain away, but that felt good. Karen seems to be on the move quite often. Damn, you look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon. I wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel? This country is just way too big. So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. Found uh, the leaflet. Kind of pretty. Wonder if she made it. I know I shouldn't peek, but Karen did her own road trip to get here. Damn. Karen does like to capture the world around her. Tracing closer every mile, my heart goes racing. So I remember, know the feeling. There's no fighting back the beating, tearing apart my core. He's a poet. Glad to know she learned the lesson. There we have the its achievement. Huh. This isn't her tablet. Huh. This isn't her tablet. Yay. Technology. She came prepared. Doing Reverend on the... Mother doesn't look too humble. Yes, I think she's dodgy as well. Looks like a roach motel. But nobody will find me there. Be right back. We'll find out. Supplies. Wants me to contact Jacob.
This place is quite remote. Good. At least nobody will be looking for me here. Ooh, enjoy. I got a few moments to myself, so let's practice. I wonder who lives around here. It's so wild and huge. Okay, just draw now. Don't think about anything else. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Gotta look at both sides to see you got one eye. I could see myself stopping by this motel during a road trip. <laughs> Taking a dip in the pool after a long ride. <sighs> These mountains really inspire me. Back to reality, dude. Alright, so... Oh, Jacob's letter. Jeez. It only took Supermom eight years to give a shit. My name is Jacob and I work with your sons, Sean and Daniel, on a farm in California. There's some problems with Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now in Haven Point, Nevada. He gave me this P.O. Box address, so I th get this, I think Daniel might be in danger. He needs help to get out of there. I'll not tell you more. If you contact me at this number, please hurry. Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. Am I supposed to call him? This thing is killing my back. I got bruises on my bruises. This one, okay. Hello, Jacob. It's me, Sean. Sean, no way. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. So, you, you found my note in your sketchbook? <sighs> yeah. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Reverend Mother's gonna get ya. He couldn't really talk. All this is so messed up. I'm not up. going out. Better wait for Karen in here. Oh, 
let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. Hey, sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How are you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? Altar boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? That'll do. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean, I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? Dad taught me responsibility. He always wanted us to know how to take care of each other. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did and why, if you care. So, ask me anything. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Listen. I don't need any help. I made it all this way without you. I can get Daniel on my own. I believe you, Sean. But in this case, you need a little help. All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I wasn't happy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. Felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. <sighs> he was so much better than you. He wouldn't talk about what you did. Like, when I asked why you left, he just said you had to go live your own life. <sighs> he was right about that. You're just so fucking selfish. Yeah. Okay. 
think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. Oh, please. It's too fucking late for that shit. No matter what, you left your own kids and my dad. So don't even... I know it's too late. I just... I want you to know how I feel. Yeah. I still don't care. Jeez. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open, see what happens. I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. Good thing you didn't. We definitely needed to move on. Yeah. That was the idea. So... What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School job, marriage, ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world, with like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. That's so inspiring. I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. Not fake it for anybody. <laughs> Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. It's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. Hey, um, mind if I bum a smoke? 
Sure. Still got a few left. Mm. Wow. I haven't seen that lighter in ages. Your dad loved that thing. I know. Only thing I have left of his. Oh, man. Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much. But when we did... I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. Now we just look up at the sky and watch the stars or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same with my best friend, Lila. Sitting on the porch, just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together. Shut the hell up and watch the universe do its own thing. We should go back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. A walkie-talkie. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, you feel like telling me the story here? Not really. Gotcha. Here, try this on. A pirate. How do I look? Arr. Great. Thanks. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. And go on a swashbuckling adventure. Sure he's gonna show up? He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. 
Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. You yeah. Both. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? He's a little rascal. He never stops. Just like you did, you know? Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. Sean! What happened? Jake, I'm not mad, but you better explain everything. I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens and I got scared. I just, I packed a few things. I, I took a blanket from your tent and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. Oh, so you took my brother and my money. Better me than the cops, don't you think? You have no idea what he looked like when I found him that night, Sean. He was in bad shape, with a gunshot wound, and all by himself. I, 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 I couldn't just leave him there. What about the others? Hannah, Penny, what happened to them? They, they ran over to Merrill's place when they found out Finn and Cass were gone. That was the last time I saw them. Then on our way out here, Daniel told me more about what happened that night. How scared he was. The blast. Daniel feels he's got to redeem himself for what he did. I need to get to him, Jacob. He's not guilty of anything. I should have protected him better. I'm telling you to be careful with the Reverend Mother. She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. He wants to stay with her. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Yeah, not afraid of that Lisbeth of yours. I'm getting Daniel out of here. Daniel's always wanted to see his <sighs> Come mom. On. So I wonder if we show Daniel his mum, he can There's no us. way they're gonna let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not gonna ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay. I don't know if you want to do this, but I... I have an idea. I think school must be over by now, but Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh, we have to get my sister, too. Sarah Lee. <laughs> really, Jacob? Come on, man. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. <sighs> She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Lisbeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand, right? Damn, Jake. We need his help too, Sean. Okay, Jake. I'm listening. Lisbeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Okay? Fine. Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. I know him.
Karen? I'm in place. I can see the whole camp. Let me know if you need anything. Be careful, Sean. Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. Let's get this over with. Okay. Elizabeth's house is right behind the church, so in and out. Okay. And you sure Lizbeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. How many? Just three. A man with his kid on one side, and a woman alone on the other. Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. Nice sneak around the back. Good thing I did all that searching earlier. So, did you grow up out of here? No, in another community back east. When Elizabeth came out here to start Haven Point, my folks followed her and brought me along. Hmm. Must have been hard on you. Kinda. Eight-year-olds don't want to go to church all day. Okay. There it is. Looks empty. <sighs> Let's hope so. Luckily for us, we Let's never close our door. Closed door. Can't believe Daniel really lives in this depressing house. Oh, we did it. Now we have a little bit more time. Yes, we do. Nice work. So where are the files? Right there, in her office. Oh, of course it's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. We gotta find a way in. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too cautious not to have a spare set around. Whoa. Time to have a look around. This is so artless. Are you okay, Jake? Yeah. Yeah, no. It, it's just so. Confide and convince? 15 steps to a good speech. <laughs> yeah. The evenings in here must be so much fun. Whoa. This place is worse than army camp. Coaxing lesson one. Get Daniel his favorite cereal. And I thought Claire and Steven were old fashioned. It's like a tablecloth. Keys, keys, keys. This is a lot of pills. Especially for someone who doesn't believe in science. Daniel's haircut makes much more sense now. <sighs> Nothing here. Does she even believe in any of this? Mm. <sighs> Nothing interesting. <sighs> I swear, even her bed looks stern. Okay, what the? She's completely obsessed with his power. Daniel tried using that gift. Gives him energy after new diet. He acts on his own. Scripture one from pay.
he's getting ready to beat Daniel with yeah, his submission. That will definitely explain what's going on with Daniel. Eves? Okay. I found a key. Good. Let's try it. Oh, shit. Looks like the Reverend Mother got to this letter before Jake. Thank you for telling me about Daniel on my way to Havenport. Oh, so she knew he was coming. Sean, is everything all right in there? Uh, yes. We're trying to get into her office. She's locked it up, so it has to be there. Fine. I'll let you know if I see anything unusual. Don't see anything of interest. Whoa, they kicked her out of church? Now they're thirsty. Did she teach Daniel how to play this? Is this Daniel's room? Yeah. Man. It's depressing. Well, Lisbeth doesn't believe in material possessions, so... Doesn't mean you need to decorate your house like a prison. This is quite the change from Power Bear and Friends. A little bit creepy, to be fair. No matter what happened, I guess Finn was a real friend to Daniel. Oh, they're so cute. We have the sixth and final achievement. Must mean we're coming close to the end of this chapter. What is this? Daniel Fisher? Oh no. Oh dear. No, that's total bullshit. And creepy. Oh, shit. People are really all over his power. So much for secrecy. Oh, if Daniel gets too far, he's going to be making a cult of Happy his own. Happy birthday, Daniel. Right, so we got the key. <sighs> Locked, of course. <sighs> Shit. Maybe it opens the other door. Let's go to the office. Yes, that's the one. Oh, perfect. Whoa. Is this her personal archive or something? Yeah, she keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. Has pneumonia? And for what I get, Lisbeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look, she has a file on you too. <laughs> you can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Man, what's all this? Were you like... Sick? Conversion therapy? Do they... Wanted to cure you from... 
being... <sighs> Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. <sighs> they thought I was a freak. A sinner. Is that why you... ran away? Yep. <laughs> Took me five years to understand what was up. I was too scared. Confused. I really did believe I was a sinner, so I thought I had to atone for my sins. Atone? For what sins? I don't get how they can preach this kind of crap. I mean... You met Finn and everyone. Are they sinners then? Of course not. I, I just didn't know different, Sean. I believed them. Damn, Jake. After a few years, I was in a really bad place. I, I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Go see the world and figure things out. I, I don't really get her, Sean. But Elizabeth does believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd... I'd found my faith again. Instead, I... I just heard him. Then let's make things right. We just have to get Daniel out of here. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. I hope they'll help her. Yeah. Anything would be better than here. Right. I just hope they can still cure her. Sean, are you there? <sighs> What's up? You got company. That thug who works for Elizabeth. He's just holding some files. Doesn't seem to be on to you. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Hey, trust me. I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. Yeah. See what you can do. Sean, we gotta hide. Now. Hurry up. Come on, Sean, we need to hide. Man, if he finds us here, we're screwed. Then hide somewhere. You want me to tell you where to hide? Well, I was hidden. What are you doing here, punk? Huh? Stop! Let him go, Nicholas! Ah! You're trespassing too, you little fag. You were always trouble. I'll deal with you later. Now come with me, you shithead. Oh, Lord. Let your power speak through this young vessel. Speak to me. <sighs> Reverend! Sean, what's going on? <sighs> Reverend, he was going through your stuff in your office. Jacob let him in, but I took care of that Judas. Oh, Sean. Little lost lamb. How could you desecrate holy lamb? Sean! You okay? Huh? Yeah. Don't worry. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. What? No! I'm not going anywhere! She's full of shit, dude! And she's using you! Daniel 
has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me, and you'll be family. Never! So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary, right now. Not without my brother. Didn't you hear the Reverend? Nicholas! Sean is just confused. We forgive the sinners. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel, listen. She's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. Uh. She came here for you. Oh, praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. Uh, it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... Uh, I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. <laughs> That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where were you when Daniel was lost? Where- Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. You were blessed with a divine gift. And you cast him out into the world. Who the hell are you? You might have been his mother once, but when you abandoned him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend to care about these two children? You left them and your husband to seek out your base desires. Daniel, honey, she's trying to trick you. Please, think by yourself. You're smarter than this. Daniel, she's responsible for what happened to your father. You don't know anything. It was an accident. That's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother, and I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. Are you going to believe her or me? I... Uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family. And we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Ugh. Holy shit. Starting to do that one too many okay. times. What now? Don't you understand? This is over, uh, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sara Lee? She's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She wouldn't do this that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. She's not a real Christian. Think about Claire and Stephen. They have faith, but they would never endanger a little girl's life like that. But uh, she's always right. Why would she lie? Hey, Have Elizabeth. faith in me, Daniel. I think your church is on fire. I know what I'm doing. God is speaking to me. 
and to you. She was kicked out of her previous church. Yeah, they knew she was crazy. So she left and founded Haven Point. Why would they do that? Did she do something wrong? Liar! I left on my own because they were all blind. Don't believe his lies, Daniel. What do you think Dad would say if he saw us right now? He wanted us to stick together. I don't know. I want you to stay. But you're not ready, Sean. Uh. See what you have done? Hey, Inano. Uh. Back off. No one is gonna keep me away from you. I said stop! Uh. Don't. I came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need- <sighs> Sean! He must learn. Listen, I know I wasn't a great brother. I was an asshole. I took you for granted. I put you in danger, and I'm sorry. Sean! Don't listen to him. He, he left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Uh, don't hit him! Uh, don't let them do that, Daniel. <laughs> if I could go back in time, I would. We'd be in our living room. In Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie, because we would always fight about it. And he always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anno. Stop so it! So we have to keep going no. forward. What are you going to kill him? Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church, but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. Nothing, nothing is gonna stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. I know. Dad always said our blood link was the most important thing. You know uh, Please! Uh, stop! Uh, Leave him alone! Daniel, listen to him! He's got some determination, I'll give you that one. I won't stop, no matter what she does. I'll come right back, again and again! I love you, Daniel. I do too. Shut him up now! Don't move. Just stop. If you want to kill me, then do it. I'm not afraid. Do it! Shoot! Don't! Go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face. And live with me. Someone else. I'm sorry. Sean, we need to get out of here. Now. Oh no. 
No. You started this fire. You will all burn in this hell. This is your fault. Yours! Sean. Wait. Daniel. She really did try to use me. She hurt you. She's bad. You just... she's dead. It... it was her or us. Open the door, Dan. Let's go. Probably some sort of copyright music playing right now, that's why it's so quiet. Looks like the thug that kicked seven shades of shit out of us has broken out. We save Sarah as well. It's nice for the players that have copyright music turned off if they added a non copyright song in its place. So if we found Daniel, we've got him back, have made him a murderer, what are we doing in season 5, episode 5 sorry, running away from the cops, to be continued. I have to say, I didn't enjoy that one as much as I did the last episode. It got better towards the end, it just wasn't that exciting. Overall, it's still a very good season. You and 32% of others passed both vision tests. Told Agent Flores the robbery was Finn's idea. You and 74%. You and 35% attacked the guard to escape the hospital. You and 44% talked to Finn and forgave him what happened.
He broke Daniel's toy while taking it back from Chad. He refused to sing and got beaten up. He got in Aaron's truck to reach Haven Point. 86% of people did that. He gave money to the church. You were hard on Karen during the conversation. 2%. Seems a lot of people wanted to see what she had to say. Smoked a cigarette with Karen. Karen didn't offer to help you clean your bandage. Nicholas was unaware of your presence while sneaking in. Didn't give any money to Jacob. You got caught by Nicholas. Well, I was hidden, and then I didn't have a clue what the other guy was doing, so I went to help him. You shot Elizabeth while Daniel was hurting her, 4%. I let Daniel unleash his power on Elizabeth while he was hurting her, 18%. You and Daniel both spared Elizabeth's life, 71% did that. And but Dan, are you sure this because Daniel was hurting? A sneak peek of episode five. And this is it. We made it, Daniel. What do we do now? Make our way across. Trump's wall, is it? <laughs> You ready? Yeah, I think. That was episode four, guys. Thank you for watching Life is Strange 2. If you enjoyed, join me in the next episode. And thanks for watching.